우리 장로님들이 이번에 꼭 가지고 가셔야 될 거. 세 가지 있습니다. There are three things that our elders must leave here with today. 자, 그 이전에 24가 뭔지 이해되셔야 됩니다. However, prior to that, you must understand what 24 hours means. 아마 사실은 그 기도 24의 행복을 모른다는 것은 사실 기도 모르는 거죠. Honestly speaking, to not know the happiness of 24-hour prayer means you don't know what prayer is. 여러분은 꼭 알아야 됩니다. But you must know this. 기도 24의 능력, 평안 누릴 수 없다면 사실은 기도를 모르는 겁니다. If you can't enjoy the power and the peace of 24-hour prayer, then honestly, you don't know what prayer is. 예, 그러면 반드시 이 응답이 옵니다. Then if you do this, absolutely the answer of 25 hours will come. 예, 하나님의 나라. God's kingdom. 그리고 남는 게 있습니다. And then there is something that remains. 영원이란 게 남는 겁니다. That what remains is eternity. 이게 전부답니다. This is everything. 장로님들 대부분 요즘 골프 치시죠. Then most of our elders play golf. 어, 골프 강의도 많고 이론도 많고 책도 많고 뭐 심지어 대학도 있고 그렇지 않습니까? There are many lectures. There are many theories regarding golf. There are so many things out there, especially even colleges. 네, 뭐 참고 되지만 뭐 사실 다 틀린 거잖아요. And it's something that you can refer to, but honestly, it's all wrong. 골프 이십사 하지 않고는요. That without having golf 24 hours on your mind, you can't hit under par. That if you want to hit under par, then you have to be thinking about golf 24 hours a day. But there's no reason for you to be thinking about golf 24 hours a day. That in one sense, it's rightful that your score over 100. Why? Because you're not focusing on that 24 hours a day. That what must you focus on 24 hours a day? That's what you must seek out. 그러면 뭐 사실은 더 이상 들을 필요도 없습니다. Then honestly, there's nothing more to listen to. 굉장히 중요한 24 내가 기도 행복 능력을 누린다면 그게 기도예요. So this is everything. If you could enjoy the happiness and power and peace of prayer 24 hours a day, that's it. Then absolutely the blessing of the throne will follow. And then what is eternity? And worldly speaking, that becomes your fate or destiny. That that does not change. What happens if you worry 24 hours a day? Then absolutely wrath will come upon you. In one sense, that's an answer. Then that becomes that person's fate. 장모님들이 가지고 가셔야 됩니다. And so elders, you must leave you with this. And to always focus on this 24 hours a day. And if, and if you realize 24 hour prayer, then everything will be resolved, even your diseases will be healed. Going up to the mountains to pray all night, that's just temporary prayer. That's not talking about this kind of prayer. And fasting prayer, those are also temporary as well. It's not this kind of prayer. That you have to have this peace, this power, this strength, and this joy 24 hours a day. But in the midst of all that, what is it that elders must do? There are three things. I'm sure you know very well. There was one elder I'm very familiar with, and every chance he comes, he brings me his notebook. Then, from what I remember, he's brought that to me three times already. And what does he do? All of your wrongdoings, he writes them down. He researched that so much, he actually has a full notebook of that. 그 아는 사람 보고 그 장모님이 그 노트를 들고 왔는데 그 뭐지 이래 물어봤습니다. So I was a little bit worried, and so I asked the person that is familiar with him. Oh, that elder brought me a notebook. What is this? 그냥 그 이제 간단하게 대답하라. 그 사람들 원래 그렇습니다. 아 그래. And that 알았어. person just briefly answered, Oh, he's just like that. And I said, Okay. 네, 그걸 보고 24라고 합니다. We call that 24 hours. 그러면 25가 와요. Then 25 hours will come. 어느 날 이분은 교회도 못 나올 정도의 문제가 생겼어요. One day a problem arose with this person that he could no longer show his face in church. And right now he doesn't even show up to Tarapang. A problem has come to him to the point where he can't even show up. We call that 25 hours. So these things will absolutely come. 
And I'll start now as an elder. What must you focus on 24 hours a day? 여자 한 명이 나왔는데 애굽과 세계 문제를 해결했습니다. 요게벳. There was one woman who appeared and she saw the problems of the world and Egypt. That was Jacobet. 한나와 이세 같은 중직자가 나왔는데 블레셋 문제를 해결했어요. And a church officer like Hannah and Jesse came out and they saw the problem of Philistia. 오바다라고 하는 중직자 한명 나오니까요. 시대 문제 해결해요. One church officer Obadiah came forward and he saw the problem of the age. 어제 일강입니다. And so that was yesterday's first lecture. Do 24 hours on this. 하나님은 여러분에게 시대 해결사로 부르십니다. That God has called you the troubleshooters or the problem solvers of the age. 이거 빼버리면 중요한 걸 빼버려요. If we omit this, then you omit the important things. 시대 시대마다 렘넌트 운동 이전에 중직자가 일어나서 이 문을 열은 거예요. That age by age, even before the remnant movement arose, church offers arose to do this. 만약에 이드로가 없었더라면 어떻게 되겠어요? Now what would have happened if Jethro did not exist? 굉장하죠. 만약에 라합이라는 인물이 없었더라면 어떻게 되겠어요? That he was tremendous. What would happen if we didn't have Rahab? 여러분이 이거 이집사는 게 여러분의 Concentrating on this 24 hours a day, that is your mission. Just always thinking about this 24 hours a day. And doing this 24 hours a day is such a joy. Evangelism prayer focusing on 24 hours a day, that's so great for me. And more and more moment answers come, and so I'm always carrying around paper that I can write that down on. And whenever I go myself to a restaurant to eat, I always take a paper and pen. Do this 24 hours a day. And it's so wonderful. And so praying 24 hours a day, such a joy. And God gives strength spiritually and physically. 뭐 시간 갈수록 하나님이 많은 문들 열어주시고 And God opens up many doors the more the time progresses. 저는 24는 거몇개 있습니다. And there are a few things that I do 24 hours a day. 호 Breathing. 24. 24 hours a day. 너무 너무 건강에 좋아요. And it really benefits my health. 어, 드디어 이제 지난 주간에는 저는 신체 검사를 여러분처럼 하지 않고요. 1 년에 한번 정기 검사하고 두달 만에 한 번씩. That I don't do a physical exam like you do. I do my annual checkup, and then every two months I have a physical exam. And not that I want to do that, but that's what's in my schedule. And so last week I did my my bi monthly blood analysis. And then it's within the norm, no, most normal of all of my past exams. And the doctor said, there's nothing wrong with you. That's what he told me. And so everything is normal. That all the numbers, of course, in our blood works, he said, that's all normal. And so what I do is breathing and prayer 24 hours a day. It's such a joy. I'm a little sorry to be uh, embarrassed to say this, but I go think about fishing 24 hours a day. Even when I think about it, I think, oh, I'm going to make some time to go fishing. And if I find someone that I can connect with on fishing, then my eyes really open wide. That I have not met an elder yet who I can really connect on this with. But there are some people who I can really connect with, those who really love fishing. And well, there was one person, but that person immigrated to America. 24 hours. It's such a joy. But starting now, do this 24 hours a day. Then number two. The very important number, the second thing that you must think about 24 hours a day. And so in one way, you possess the, the power to change heaven and earth. That let me change this into a very simple biblical terms. 나를 재창조하신 하나님께서 나를 통해 세계 재창조합니다. 
that God who recreated me will recreate the world through me. And so do this 24 hours a day. Recreation of the world, 세계 재창조, 아주 성경적인 단어예요. And so, recreation of the world is a very biblical term. 어, 우리 한국말로 막 천지 개벽 이런 단어 썼는데 더 정확한 단어가 이거예요. That it might sound like it's turning the world upside down, but more accurately speaking, it means recreating the world. 여러분은 가지고 계십니다. That you have this. 이거 이십삼. And so, do this 24 hours a day. 자, 사업 되겠어요, 안 되겠어요? Then do you think that your business will work out or not? You don't have to, you don't have to ask. 그러니. And then there's one more thing that's left. And I will talk about that in our third lecture. And during the core message. And so you must remember this. Then as you do this, can you not see the one important blessing by which you can recreate the world? 그게 이겁니다. It's this, restoring the blessing of the 70 workers. The blessing of the 70 workers. That this becomes a system for world recreation. And so through you, 70 disciples will arise. And through you, 70 regions will be seized. And through you, 70 regional churches will arise. Through you. More importantly, and finally, that 70 businesses or industries will arise. Without this taking place, we cannot do world evangelization. And this is not our goal. It must take place. Because of one elder, this takes place. That is the key. Let's set that as our goal and race towards that. No, it must take place. And so the businesses of our elders must be able to do world evangelization. That is God's will. That besides that, there's nothing else to do 24 hours on. Don't do anything else. Then why are you living a life focusing on fighting 24 hours a day, about gossiping about other people 24 hours a day? That fighting over your church position 24 hours a day? That's what fools do. You must focus on this 24 hours a day. Do not lose hold of this at all. And the method, just do this 24 hours a day. At 24 hours a day, we can think about it time-wise as one second, two second, three second, and on. But if you look at drug addicts, they don't do drugs 24 hours a day. Yet that person is focusing on drugs 24 hours a day. Isn't that so? They're just trying to bear through it, but they're thinking about it 24 hours a day. That's why they become addicts. We're a good friend. He's a good friend. This person... 남편 몰래 자꾸도 돈을 없애는 거예요. Then one of my distant relatives, she's a very good lady, but without her husband's knowledge, she kept on using up the money. And so that's what she was doing. 그래서 한 번씩 사라져. And every once in a while, she would disappear. 그 남편 기어찰 거 아니요. And so that really exasperates her husband. 그래가지고 이제 알아냈어요. And finally, he figured it out. 왜 그런지. Why she's like that? 처음에 뭐 사람들이 막 의심하고 이거 바람이 났나 어쩌냐 뭐 했는데. At first, he was very suspicious, thinking that she was having an affair, but that was not it. And this woman, she was doing gambling. And to gamble, she needs money, and so at times she would deceive her husband, or she would tell her mother that she needs to borrow some money. And so he took his wife and sent her down to the countryside where her mother lived. He says, why don't you rest with your mother and then, you know, really, you know, set your heart right and come back. She spent two months there, but in that village she found other people who gambled. 
And so now the husband was complete surrendering. We call that the power of 24 hours. That if you do something 24 hours, there's nothing you, that's nothing is impossible. That you don't have to go around making a lot of noise because this blessing belongs to you. And so you're just focusing on this 24 hours a day. And so many people ask me, how do you evangelize? No, there's no secret to that. Just 24 hours a day. Then answers will continue to come. And you can even see what you must do in the future. And in what direction we will go, you can see that. The first, second, third, fourth, and fifth RTC movement, we can see that and head towards it. Then we need to know the reason. The three organizations. And the three organizations are completely doing the Nephilim movement. And these people have realistically conquered all that. And so spiritual problems will continue to form. And not even the president knows why spiritual problems are rising in America. We must teach him. There's a rapid increase in mental illness in America, but the three organizations don't know why that's happening. Honestly, they're the ones who are creating it. Because they're doing the Nephilim movement. And Nephilim simply put, that's a demon possession movement. Then in one sense, it's a demon possession movement, something that shamans might be quicker to catch on to. That full-fledged, they are spreading this. We need to block this. But if you have power, then you can block it. Right now, strange religious organizations are rising. And we see these great terms that they are using. Things like mindfulness. That the word sounds so wonderful. Oh, mindfulness. And, then, and right now, they're becoming very popular with these kinds of things. Churches are closing, but these are, organizations are rising so rapidly. But if we have elders like you who have the answer everywhere, then all the darkness will crumble. Then when I originally began this message, I was thinking about planting elders like you in every region. And ultimately, that will happen. And if you gain this answer, you become the commander that can save all the regions. Then what is this? You are the spiritual commanders to save the region. Then we need spiritual commanders in order to block this. Currently, spiritual problems are rising, but what's happening here? They're plowing into all the schools. They're plowing into all the schools. It's not even something big, and yet they're plowing into schools with that and continue to create spiritual problems, and they don't even know it. But unbelievers don't know this at all. They don't go to church, but they go here. These unbelievers, all they know about is their basic needs, food, clothing, and shelter. Though we may be similar to that, but unbelievers, all they know are their basic needs. That's why they become diseased. For physical disease, you might, have, you might go to a doctor, but I'm not talking about that. Other diseases come upon them and continue to cause problems. They catch disease not even doctors can heal, and they're dying from it. It's urgent. 
사람 사는 파수 망대를 세우는 살인관이다 이 말. That you are the commander that's going to raise up these platforms as well as a life-saving antenna and the watchtower to save all the people. 이십사하면 돼요. And so this blessing is upon you. Just focus on that 24 hours a day. How wonderful is that? Prayer 24 hours a day. 이십사 할때 조금 참고하실 거예요. A few things you must keep in mind as you do this 24 hours a day. As I said yesterday, 여러분들이 이 축복 받을 사람이 확실하기 때문에 because the sure fact that you are the people to receive this blessing. 이 칠십인의 복을 한번 편집해 보세요. You need to edit the blessing of the seventy workers. 굉장한 일 벌어질 겁니다. That amazing things will happen. 편집을 시켜 살살. And so little by little you edit this. 바빠요, Don't do anything else. You're busy enough. Just do this. 저는 옛날에 여러분 만나기 전에 전도 편집을 하면서 In the past, before meeting all of you, I was amazed as I did this evangelism edit. There was so much to learn, so much to see. I said, oh, this is what it is. I didn't just do this. I researched evangelism done by other religions as well. And so one day I came to answer, oh no, all this is wrong. The only thing that's right what's in, is what's in the Bible. And so you have to take it that far. I try, why do you go to early morning prayer service? Oh, how am I going to edit this blessing of the 70 workers? These Saturday meetings as we gather here like this, you need to check this, you need to edit this. As you worship tomorrow, it doesn't matter who the pastor is. Through the pastor, you need to edit God's word. And so mainly, it's the word and resources or materials. You have to edit that. And as you do that, you can see your plan. We call this prayer. Then absolutely you will see the field. This is called design. Just do this. And so realistically edit, how am I going to enjoy the blessing of the 70 workers? As you do that, ultimately to one elder, you'll find seven disciples. They will appear. No reason to do this diligently. You're looking for disciples. And once you find his disciples, these disciples will absolutely conquer the 70 regions. I always say this, in the 5,000 universe of America, there are at least one disciples in each region. And so find them. But the remaining America not looking for that is embarrassing. You need to look for them. And these days, it's easy, even with just the internet. There are disciples. They're unshaken. And disciples quickly understand your words. Why? Because God opens the door. And so even if there's just one in the 5,000 universe of America, that's already 5,000. The blessings that our elders are going to receive are tremendous, so do this 24 hours a day. Then as you do this, you are forming your vessel to place all of this in. And at this time, three things come. The economy of light. It comes from this point on. And from this point on, the second thing follows. What, from, what comes? You gain the power of the 70 movement and ultimately you become like this. And even your business becomes like this. 
The platform, watchtower, and antenna, it's bound to be that way. And it is limitless. After gaining this answer, when I look at a person, I see the doors of evangelism opening. The law has changed these days, but back then I had a very smart disciple and he graduated from pharmacy school. And he's so smart that he would say, Pastor, you know, oriental medicine or vitamins, if you continue to take that, it's not good for you. In one way, they completely compress that together, and so it really ruins, damages your liver. And so you should take it for a while and then lay off of it and then take it up again. That's what he told me. And so I said, Oh, you're not your average pharmacist. And so I said, Go open about, about 100 pharmacies. And all you have to do is commission out 100 disciples. Isn't that so? And so, you know, I think about it. It doesn't take much money to open up a pharmacy because the pharmaceutical companies give you all of the medication. And he said, oh, if I open about 100 pharmacies, I can make money off of that. I commission our very smart disciple and say, you take half the profits and I'll take half and then do missions with that. There's so much out there. But these days, the law has changed a bit. But it's still possible these days down in the countryside. That's just one example. In this way, you make so many of these platforms as well as antennas and watchtowers. And if you, one person, does it 24 hours a day, then you completely revive your church. That if you seek out certain disciples, then it will no longer be a dependent church. Isn't that so? It's true. There are so many disciples awaiting you, but your eyes are elsewhere. Your prayer 24 hours there is elsewhere. That is not concentrating on a throne 24 hours a day, it's in the world. It's not 24 hour power, it's about 24 hour complaining. That you have to concentrate in God's tremendous power of transcending time and space, but you're concentrating on worrying 24 hours a day. And so if you continue to enjoy this blessing 24 hours a day, it goes way beyond this. You can see the future and posterity. That even if you just have one correct person, that's really going to work. That you find one person who's really fluent in English and really good with the computer, then they'll do the work of 20 people. That in your future business, you must open up that kind of age. And so I told Elie Chang Myung-ju, who is in charge of our 237 Center, I said, really find someone who's fluent in English and really capable with the computer. And really communicate with the world. It has to be kind of fluent English that Americans will completely be taken in with. And Zelda was saying, oh, that's the kind of prayer I'm praying about right now. The future. That really do this 24 hours a day and really receive God's blessings. You'll be busy enough receiving blessings. Then how much time must you have on your hands to be lamenting like that? It means that you have too much, too much time. That how much time do you have that you're always worrying? Then all those kinds of people must meet some kind of Korean war or something like that. They'll be running around, be too busy doing other things. When we were young, we had no time to have conflict because we could barely feed ourselves. But right now, everyone's so full. They're lost in things in the world. That's why they're always complaining. That you elders must see the urgency of this age. You are spiritual commanders. You're going to recreate the world. That you already see the recreation of yourself. So now you must recreate the world. 
And so you already know the answers, and you're, it's in your text. Simply put, what is this? In each of the age of the seven disasters, before the remnants arose, church officers arose. And you should rightfully receive that blessing. And so just do this 24 hours a day, just unconditionally 24 hours a day, then 25 hours will come. Then that becomes your destiny. Eternity. That's what must happen. You do the important things 24 hours a day. Since you're enjoying the blessing of the throne, you're not, it's not boring or tedious. You're just not waiting. You're waiting as you enjoy. And let's just simplify this into one term. In the Bible, Jesus directly chose these 70 disciples, and through them, all the doors were opened. Ananias, who met Paul, who was he? That who were the disciples, who uh, church officers who went to Samaria? It was ultimately these people. And who were the ones that raised the Antioch church? It was them. Just become like these three things then. And no matter how hard you work, no matter how hard you shout, it doesn't matter. If you dig a well, people will come to drink. Platform. And if that water really is good water, people will come from afar. It saves lives and so it becomes the watchtower. And from there, everything gets communicated. That's the antenna. And so just understand it that way. Absolutely do not lose hold of this. Take a look. And let's see where these church officers went. Where these church officers go, these church officers played a very important role in the ministry that Paul carried out of healing people that the world could not heal. Take a look at this. And also, what do we see in Acts 17, 18, and 19? Not only healing, but we see the synagogue, the synagogue. And each time the church officers were included. It's amazing, isn't it? I must see Rome as well. You must testify about me in Rome. And you must stand before Caesar. Church officers who understand these words were the ones who changed the world. That's it. And so do this 24 hours a day. That 24 hours is unstoppable. 24 hours. You must remember. And now with this, our L is starting. Now you begin to draw a picture. As you must start it now. As you begin, this answer will come. Why? Because it matches with God's will. That really praying 24 hours a day. Then you'll begin to see. Then you'll begin to see the map, and then you can really see. And now you begin to see the method of how you can really travel around and do this. And so you begin to see this. And finally, you begin to see disciples. On Saturdays, we do four things, our business message. And then we have the remnant study of evangelism. And the most important core, which is the stream of the message. And then our scattered disciples. That can you not see the significance of this? It's tremendous. If you're not riding the stream, then you're honestly not receiving the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And then listen to your Sunday pulpit message. And so today's conclusion will be done through our remnant study of evangelism. Why? 
결국은 렘넌트에게 전달. Because this blessing ultimately must be transmitted to our remnants. 그래서 렘넌트에게 알릴 것 중요한 게 있습니다. 없어지지 않는. And so there are things that you must let our remnants know. Things that will not disappear. 이게 이번 주의 제목이에요. And this is this week's title. 일단 서론에 영원한 것세 가지. And first of all, in our introduction, there are three eternal things. 뭡니까? What are they? 어이 보좌. The throne. 영원합니다. That's eternal. 그리고 반대로 이 허감 세력 사단. And conversely, the force of darkness, Satan, 영원합니다. hell, those things are eternal as well. They do not disappear. More importantly, the souls of all of our remnants, all of you, even unbelievers, it's eternal. And how these three things meet is very important. And so we might just living a life based on our basic needs, but as we do that, we must seek out the eternal things within. That is our main theme. And so what lasts forever? Once again, we see that explanation. God's word and the throne. As Satan, darkness and hell. And our human souls. That it's our souls, they last forever. And then what must we prepare? That is what you must tell our remnants. There is an eternal world. You must let them know this. You must let the remnants know this. The worldly kingdom, Satan's kingdom, and God's kingdom. And this becomes a correct world view. The worldly kingdom, Satan's kingdom, and God's kingdom. And so the blessings that you and our remnants must enjoy are the things that will eternally be at the throne. 그래서 죽어서 천국 간다. 그건 당연한 얘기지 안 가봤잖아요. 그게 중요한 게 아니에요. And so you die and you go to heaven. It sounds so rightful, but that's not what's important. 이 땅에 살아있는 동안에 천국이 우리의 배경. That while you're living here on earth, heaven is your background, the throne. 죽어서 지옥 간다. 그 당연한 거지. 살아 있는 동안에 지옥 세력이 그 사람의 배경이에요. You die and you go to hell. That's rightful. But the bigger problem is that while you live here on earth, the power of hell is your background. 우리는 보좌 우리의 배경이라니까. But for us, the throne is our background. 그래서 여러분이 교회를 헌신하고 복음 전하는 것은 영원히 남는 축복이다. And so serving the church and how you are proclaiming the gospel is an eternal blessing. 그래서 여러분이 전도해서 구원받은 사람 있잖아요. 이 사람은 영원한 멸류관이라고 대한민국 전서 2장 19절에 기록하고. And so if you look in First Thessalonians 2 verse 19, it says those people that you evangelize to and receive salvation, they become your eternal crown. 저는 개인적으로 우리 렘넌트 말합니다. 복음 말하지 않고 전도 안 하는 교회는 the person will tell the remnants that if you, there are churches that don't proclaim the gospel, don't go to them. It doesn't matter whether it's domestic or overseas. If it's a church that does not proclaim the gospel, that does not evangelize, don't attend that. Because if you get stuck in that, that's a curse. You need to know that. Teach our remnants. No matter where you go, your life, your occupation, your studies, it must be used for God. But you go to a church that doesn't even evangelize, don't attend that church. And throughout the, throughout the world, there are many churches that talk about everything except the gospel. Don't attend that. And this is what you must transmit to our remnants. And so what is the conclusion that we come to? That your studies must come from here. That your studies must make this your masterpiece. Then absolutely you will triumph. And this is how far of a picture our, rem, our elders need to have. And so for this conference, the three things that you must focus on 24 hours a day. 
that you are the problem solvers that must save the age. You have that answer so concentrate on that 24 hours a day. And because you don't do this 24 hours a day, you don't even know it even if it's in front of you. You're doing other things 24 hours a day. Do this 24 hours a day. Then as spiritual commanders, you are the people that are going to recreate the world. So concentrate on that 24 hours a day. And during our core message, we will do our third message. Let us pray. We give thanks to God. We thank that you prepared amazing grace and preparation for our church offices. May they become the elders that really recreate the world with the power of the throne. And may they do this 24 hours a day. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.